is the season for the great outdoors. And on this episode, we're gonna show you how to light up your backyard with some cool LED string lights. What's up guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's video, we're gonna show you how to install this 24 foot, 12 LED string light. But the best part about this installation, we're gonna connect the third generation Echo Dot to the string light, then ceiling mount it to the patio. That way, when you're in the pool or on the patio, you can use voice commands to get weather, news, and music. So make sure to watch till the end of the video. Are you ready? Go. All right, so we have here a 24 foot outdoor string light. Now I've measured the top of my patio and that's about 19 feet. So I'm gonna have about five extra feet of strand, which is about two more of these lights. But I've got a solution for that, so don't worry. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. And if you have the same situation, you can follow what I do. If your patio is 24 feet, you're good to go. But I have to do a little bit of uh, finagling here to, to get it to work. <laughs> so also, as you can see, this has three cycles, a warm, white, a color rotation, and a color lock. Now there is a green, red, and a blue color, so this is a pretty cool light set. Um, so let's get started. This 24-foot LED string light kit is from the Home Decorators Collection, and this kit includes two additional LED bulbs for replacement. And the 24-foot light kit comes fully assembled. I like that a lot. And it comes with a user manual, and that's it. To install this kit, you'll need a drill, drill bits, a hammer, hooks, wire clips, anchors, and screws. And lastly, you'll need a ladder. So the size of your drill bit depends on the size of your wall anchors. Best rule of thumb is to go a little bit smaller than the wall anchor. You want that wall anchor to be tight. So something to keep in mind, these holes are 24 inches apart when you stretch this out all the way. Now you don't have to do this 24, this is the max. What you could do, you could put these together a little closer, the cord may hang a little bit. So that might give you something like this. You could do this, and you're gonna have a little bit of cord. This cord is very thick commercial grade, so I don't know if you could, it would look good that way, but you could definitely put this together like this maybe and let it just hang, you know. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna start drilling holes and hooking this up, all right. So guys, the first thing I gotta determine is if I need a anchor or not. So we're gonna use a drill and we're gonna drill this stuff up. And my first light will go about right here, thinking right here. So we're gonna be using this stucco. So we need a hole big enough for this. So make sure your drill bit's a little bit smaller than the anchor. You want that to be a tight fit. Should be good. I'm going to show you two ways to install this light kit. First, with hooks. Just make sure the hook screws into the wall anchor securely. And the second way to install the light kit is with a screw. And that's going to be our option. And just a heads up, we installed the second light to our first location. The first light will be on the inside of the patio, near the window and it'll be the same for the last light as well. So at this point, just pull the light to the location you want and mark it with the drill. Then drill the hole, hammer in the anchor, and screw in the light. Good. Two down, time to go. So to save time, I'm gonna fast forward through this part of the video because it's the same technique. Pull the wire to the right, mark your location, hammer in the anchor, and attach with a screw. And so far, they look pretty straight. This is LED light number 11. The 12th light will be installed above the sliding glass door at the corner. All the lights are up now, except for each one on the end. 
This light will go inside above the windowsill. And like I said before, the other light, the 12th light, will go above the sliding glass door. And the controller will be mounted right below the first light on the windowsill. And of course, when you install these lights, make sure there's a power outlet somewhere close by. So now let's go ahead and install light number one on the windowsill. It's the same concept, it's stucco. Drill a hole, hammer in an anchor, and secure it with a screw. Easy. To attach the wire clips, it's the exact same concept. Drill a hole, hammer in the anchor, and attach the wire clip Perfect. with a screw. Now I'm gonna run this wire down. I will attach it like this. So you can just turn on and off and you come out in and out of the house, change the colors. And once again, I'll fast forward through this. Okay, now we're gonna mount the controller with double-sided sticky tape. This technique can work well. However, stucco is kind of a tricky material. <laughs> And later on, it didn't work very well. I do wish the controller had mounting holes. However, at the end of the video, you'll see how I fixed this. And trust me, it looks great. And I'm probably going to add some more of these wire clips as well. Like right here. It just looks cleaner. Okay, so I got this side mounted here. We'll go ahead and pull this tape off. Like that. Right there. And just a heads up, this tape didn't hold up very well. Looks straight. Now it's time to plug it in and test out the lights. And you'll need a three prong outlet or extension cord. And when I install light number 12, I forgot to hit record. Sorry. Okay, guys, this is the fun part. With this string light kit, you can connect up to five sets of lights. However, our plan is to connect the third generation Echo Dot and mount that Echo Dot to the wall or ceiling. So as long as the light string is turned on, the Echo Dot will work as well. So keep that in mind. And the main benefit to this is when you're in the pool or on the patio, you can voice activate music, weather, or news. Pretty cool. And we decided to mount this to the ceiling, right there. So my original idea was to build a cage system with these wires. And this cage system would hold the Echo Dot, and then it would mount it to the ceiling. But I quickly realized this would not work. And these wires would probably rust in about six months. And it would not look good. So my second thought was to use this wooden coaster. I could then drill holes in it to mount to the ceiling. And drill holes at the end so I could zip tie the dot to the coaster. But once again, I figured out this would not work. And I'm pretty sure this wood would not hold up for very long. It seemed kind of flimsy. So after looking at a junk bin in my computer shop, I found these two rectangle metal plates that had two holes in them. So my thought was to bend these metal plates at each end, which would then hold the echo dot in place. And then once I mount the plate to the ceiling, I could then use two zip ties to secure it. In theory, this should work. And what's cool is the plate is black and so are the zip ties. So the Echo Dot will blend right in. So after finding the place in the ceiling where I want the Echo Dot, I can then drill my first hole. Hammer in the anchor and then line it up. Next, I can mark the second hole and do the same thing. And before I secured the bracket to the ceiling, I went ahead and lined up my zip ties in this X pattern.
Now it's time to install the Echo Dot. And of course make sure the power connection is facing the back. That way the wires are out of sight. It's really a cleaner look. Next thing is plug it in, add some wire clips, and test out the Echo Dot. And I'll fast forward through all the wire management. Save some time. And this is the final result. It turned out great. Now let's go ahead and test it out. And once the lights are turned on, the Echo Dot should turn on as well. Alexa, what's the current weather outside? In Las Vegas. It's 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for clear skies with a low of 62 degrees. And the Echo Dot works great. So now, back to the controller. I went ahead and added more wire clips. One at the bottom and one at the top of the controller. And this secured the controller to the wall with the sticky tape really well. It's not going to go anywhere. And it looks really good. One more thing to talk about is the controller and the colors. Press the button one time and you get warm light. Press the button twice and you get the color rotation. The red, green, and blue. Press the power button three times and you get a color lock. And just a heads up, the string light will turn off between modes. And for some reason, if you want to reset the string lights, simply unplug them. And that's it. And because these string lights are LED, they only require 18 watts of power. And of course, LED bulbs last a long time, and this set does come with two extra bulbs. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install string lights and how to mount an Echo Dot to the ceiling or to the wall. And string lights are a great way to add accent lights to a backyard. And after about two weeks of using these string lights, we love them. Our favorite part is the colors. The blue lights with our pool looks great. And for all those reasons, we recommend these string lights. And of course, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy these string lights and this Echo Dot. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out on the very next video. So guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. In Las Vegas, it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for clear skies with a low of 62 degrees.